The Loon Aqua 10 lighting system creates impressive and atmospheric light accents in ponds and gardens. The modular system makes this range versatile and very easy to install in any garden or pond. The system consists of the Loon Aqua 10 light, a submersible 12 volt safety transformer, halogen bulbs and connection cables. The light can be used submersed with 35 watt, 50 watt or 75 watt bulbs, or in the garden with 35 watt or 50 watt bulbs. Each light is supplied with a swivel bracket and a ground stake. The transformer has four connection points for up to four Loon Aqua 10 lights. It is suitable for a maximum of 150 watts of illumination, so can be used with four 35 watt lamps three 50-watt lamps or two 75-watt lamps. The unused connections are easily blanked off with the supplied blanking caps. Because the transformer is submersible, it makes bridging large distances between the mains power supply and the 12-volt lights simple. Coloured lenses are also available, so individual light effects are possible. Installation Firstly, remove all packaging and read the instruction manual carefully to familiarise yourself with the product and the accessories. To install the halogen bulb, remove the four screws from the face of the light. Remove the lens cover and remove the lens. Using a lint-free cloth, insert the halogen bulb into the bulb holder. Care should be taken not to touch the bulb, as dirt and grease will reduce the lifespan of the bulb. Replace the lens and lens cover and screw back into place. If you are using coloured lenses, these should be installed now. Remove the four screws from the face of the light and remove the lens cover. Place the desired coloured lens on top of the existing lens. Push the four screws supplied with the coloured lens through the screw holes on the lens cover and place first the metal washer followed by the blue washer onto each screw. Then replace the lens cover onto the light and screw into place. To connect the swivel bracket to the light, insert the two blue nuts into the holders on the rear of the light. Align the swivel bracket over the outside edge of the nut holders, then screw in the bolts. The bracket can be moved by loosening the bolts and retightening again when the bracket is correctly positioned. The swivel bracket has two fixing holes on the base, so the light can be screwed to a secure base if necessary. If required, the ground stake can now be attached to the swivel bracket. Simply slide the top of the ground stake into the holder on the base of the swivel bracket. The light should now be connected to the transformer using the Loon Aqua 10 connection cables, which are available in 2.5 meter. 5 meter or 7.5 meter lengths. To connect the cable to the light, insert the coupling into the rear of the light and screw into place using the two screws supplied. Repeat this procedure with the transformer. Remember that the transformer can be used for a maximum of 150 watts of illumination. So up to four 35 watt lights, three 50 watt lights or two 75 watt lights can be connected to the transformer. If 75 watt bulbs are being used, the lights must be submersed to avoid overheating. Place the lights in the desired position in the pond or garden, and place the transformer in a suitable place, either submersed in the pond or in a well-ventilated area in the garden. The transformer is fully waterproof. When the lights and transformer are suitably positioned, connect the power supply to the transformer. Always consult a qualified electrician when installing any electrical equipment in your garden. And remember to disconnect the power supply before entering the water, or performing any maintenance tasks on your pond and pond equipment. Maintenance Before performing any maintenance on the Loon Aqua 10 system, Always disconnect the power supply prior to commencing any work. To replace the halogen bulb, remove the four screws from the face of the light and remove the lens cover and lens. Pull out the bulb and replace with a new bulb using a lint-free cloth. Care should be taken not to touch the bulb as dirt and grease will reduce the lifespan of the bulb. Replace the lens and lens cover and screw back into place.
When replacing the bulb, check the O-rings for signs of damage and replace if necessary. If there is any sign of water ingress, the O-ring should be replaced even if no damage is apparent. To clean the lens, remove the four screws from the face of the light and remove the lens cover and lens. Clean with a soft damp cloth, dry thoroughly and replace. Replace the lens cover and screw back into place.